I've noticed this emerging trend in the marketplace. So all these brands releasing what I would describe as sparkly top coats. So if you think back a few years ago, it was always about the pigmentation and the really strong color payoff. But I'm, I'm noticing now that we're also talking about textures, so really beautiful glossy eye looks and interesting sparkly textures. And that's where these guys come in. I really like to use some of these products on a bare eye for that kind of like cool girl, effortless, just stepped out of a magazine kind of vibe, I'm a fan. Or you might wanna use them over other eyeshadows just to inject something a little bit special. Uh, so yeah, now that we are on the same page, the same sparkly top coat page, uh, let me show you some of my faves. The Natasha Denona Crystal Top Coats. This is probably my most worn sparkly top coat. So I have the shades Nude and Peach. Nude has a little bit more of a kind of cooler taupey undertone, whereas Peach has a little bit more of a warmer undertone, but really there's very little base color going on here. It's all about that scattered sparkle effect. And my actually my favorite way to wear these is on a completely nude eye. So I'll just dip my finger in, pop a little bit on the ball of the eyelid, mascara, maybe falsies if I'm feeling fancy, and that's it. Um, I did, someone left me a comment recently saying that hers had kind of dried out and gone a bit crumbly. I will say this product is a little bit stiffer than some of the others that I'm gonna mention today, but honestly, I just dig a bit deeper. Um, and yeah, mine is still going strong, love these. The Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadows. So next time you're in store, go and swatch these. Go rub your finger in it because it's a really interesting sensation. They almost feel like a cream. They're so emollient. And that binder and that emollient means that the eyeshadow is going to adhere really well to the lid. You're not gonna get a lot of fallout or those rogue sparkles all over the face. So they're really convenient to just slap on. Now I know that there are some sparkle skeptics out there in the crowd who are thinking glitter eyeshadow, I think not. Just hear me out here. It's, it's hourglass, right? So they're always going to bring us that really chic, really work appropriate take on a current trend. And these are formulated with a micro glitter. So some of the options are a little bit more of a coarse glimmer, but this one is a very chic, very refined sparkle. And I would say totally work appropriate. Next we have these amazing sparkly top coats by Mecca Cosmetica. These are actually so, so similar to the Hourglass in formula. So they're really emollient to touch, adhere beautifully on the lid. They've got some beautiful color selections um, for all different kinds of skin tones if you wanted to use it as a glossy lid topper. There's this complexity in the shimmers. So, you know, you, you can see it throwing a little bit of like periwinkle and mint and fuchsia and I love that. I think it's really, really clever formulation. Let's whip out a little bit of K-Beauty, shall we? These are the Shine Fix Eyes. And again, quite emollient like the, the Hourglass and the Mecca Cosmetica. But I would say that these have, they have some larger flecks of glitter in there and some of the shades are quite vibrant and duochromey. So like maybe a little bit more party time going on here. Although knowing K-Beauty, these are probably designed to be to be worn sheer. Although you'll see in the cutaways, those are all quite heavy swatches. And I did that purposefully so that you could uh, differentiate color and texture a little bit better. Otherwise they're all just gonna, they're all just gonna start looking much the same. So while we're on the topic of K-Beauty, let us talk about beauty people. These are the pigment packs. And this is an entirely different thing altogether. So if you've ever seen um, gold flake, the one that they use in crafts or in cooking, that is what this looks like. It's quite coarse and really shiny. It's about making a statement. So I'm not gonna lie, these ones are a little bit fiddly. Um, they do produce a little bit of fallout. You probably want to do your eyes first, but if you're doing some editorial work, you're an editorial makeup artist, or you just really love uh, playing and contrasting textures, this stuff is really special. Like gold flake, but for the face. The Chanel Illusion Dombre. I've been speaking about this product for years. It's not a new product, but still oh so relevant. I've swatched Phantasme, that one's an icy white. I also really love New Moon. I will pop this over any boring brown eye and it just makes the entire makeup more interesting. Um, these have quite a moussey texture. And again, they adhere really well to the eye. They don't produce any fallout. They're just really easy to use. 
For a more affordable option, I think some of the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows for sure could be uh, described as sparkly top coats. I recently fell in love with this shade. It's called Frog, although they should absolutely have called it Unicorn because it has the coolest like turquoise to lavender shift. It gives me real unicorn vibes and I'm wearing it on the eye today actually. I also really love sequin. This is your quintessential rose gold and I will pop this on any warm coppered eye look to make it that much more special. It's kind of like fashion to me. If this is a trend that you don't think is necessarily going to be a staple in your makeup wardrobe, then don't feel obliged to spend the big bucks um, when there are equally good alternatives in the more affordable price bracket. I wear these all the freaking time, so I'm gonna collect as many, um, as many as I want. The Marc Jacobs sequins. I actually did a video showcasing all the different shades, so if you haven't seen that, uh, I'll link it on the screen and in the description box. These are actually quite pigmented, more so than many of the options here, but I love these two shades as top coats, so I thought I'd mention them. When you put your finger into the pan, it does feel a little bit more kind of crumbly and loose than say the hourglass, but it gives you a much more textured eye. It's got that real statement shine, um, which I absolutely adore. Gleam Girl is my favorite shade. I would put Gleam Girl on any eye look. I think it improves everything. <laughs> the Pure Eye Polish. Uh, this is an entirely different product, again, because it's a liquid product. If you want, a glossy eye effect with zero glitter. Zero glitter, Karima, don't give me any glitter. This is your guy. It's like a, a fine veil of luminosity over the eye and it makes for a very convincing glossy eye look without actually having to get into the mess of gloss. So I would apply this with um, a finger all over the mobile lid and then I'll take a clean finger to dab out the edges. What I love about this product is that it doesn't get kind of crusty or chunky like a lot of liquid eyeshadows can do. I want to touch on some more traditional powder eyeshadows that could be used as sparkly top coats um, because, and I'm just, I'm just speculating here, but I do think that some of those uh, sparkly top coats that have a lot of binder, they might crease on, on very oily eyelids. So I thought I would just give you uh, another option in terms of formula. I absolutely adore the Urban Decay Moon Dust shadows. They have a very complex sparkle. They have some really fun shades too, if all of that neutral was just starting to bore you to tears. Uh, these won't adhere to the lid as well as some of the other options, so just make sure that you're applying them over some sort of eye primer or a cream eyeshadow or what have you to get maximum impact. So before you rush out and buy something new, I implore you to check out your own highlight collection because I have found some incredible sparkly top coat like products in my highlight collection. So I love the, the Stila Heaven's Hue in Kitten. That is the perfect glossy lid. I also adore ColourPop Flexitarian, which is another hyper glossy option. Great for the cheekbones, equally great for the eyes. And then I have this one. This is new uh, to me. It's the Stila Heaven's Dew, Heaven's Dew, in Silver Lake. And it has this uh, kind of like a scattered silver sparkle. I personally wouldn't wear this on the face. And I don't know, I'm just not really a fan of glitter on my cheekbone. I feel like it makes my skin look textured, but glitter on my eyelid, yes. The next two formulas are kind of like wild cards. They're totally different, um, and I wasn't initially going to talk about them, but I thought that maybe someone might ask in the comments section. So we have the Stiller Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. This is a sparkly top coat by definition. It's quite a coarse glitter look. And this is not something that I would wear on a bare lid uh, because it, it can look patchy in, in some angles. And I think you can see that in the cutaway swatches. This is something that I would use to accessorize a, an already big eye look. Like maybe apply it you know, on a cut crease to add more texture and sparkle and shine. They are beautiful for that. And then in a similar vein, we have the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liners. These come in a really, really awesome selection of fun shades. Uh, and again, they don't swatch so well because they're not really meant to be worn alone. These are for accessorizing other eye looks. Um, and I think really actually these two products have 
revolutionized glitter because like back in the old days i don't know if you remember but i certainly do back in the old days you had to faff around with a glitter glue and then pat the glitter on top and you'd still get a ton of fallout and then you'd be finding glitter in every crevice of your body for months on end no longer man you just swipe these on you're good to go i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you have a sparkly top coat product that you like to use that I didn't mention in today's video, let us know in the comment section down below so that we can all have a read and collect all of the sparkly top coats. If you wanna see more of me, then come say hello to me on Instagram at Karima McKimmy, especially, especially if you like houseplants, I've developed this tiny little minor raging addiction to houseplants. It's totally random and Adrian, as you can imagine, is absolutely thrilled. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.